All right, here we have a, uh, a genetic code chart, uh, the result of hours of work by several laboratories when? Back in the 1960s. And so uh, the result was the information in this chart that you see in front of you. And so uh, how do we enter this chart? It says at the top we enter with anticodons. So this problem behind me that we've started working, uh, you'll be given a similar problem. You'll start with the DNA the DNA codons, then you'll need to figure out the corresponding messenger RNA codons, then the corresponding tRNA anticodons, and then bring those tRNA anticodons to this chart. Now every codon and anticodon has three letters, or bases, nitrogenous bases, right? Three bases, they're called the first base, second base, third base. And so let's say our anticodon is AAA, first base A, second base A, third base A. How do we use this chart to find out the corresponding amino acid? Well, the first bases are down the left side. Here's a first base A. Second bases are across the top. There's second base A, and so those intersect, and we're in this box right here. And where are the third bases? They're down the right side. And each row has its little set of A's, G's, U's, and C's. And so, what was it again? A, A, A. First base A. Second base A. Third base A. That brings us to phi. Phi. Whatever that stands for. Um, I think I know, but it doesn't matter. That's a three-letter abbreviation for one of the amino acids. What if the anticodon was... G, G, G. First base G, second base G, third base G. Well, here's first bases down the left side. Here's first base G. Second base is across the top. Second base G. That brings us to this box right here. Third base G uh, is over here. Third bases. And so that brings us to PRO. PRO. The third base. PRO. Uh, the amino acid is PRO. And so uh, uh, what about U, U, U? Anticodon U, U, U. Here's first base U. Here's second base U. That brings us to this box right here on this chart. Third base U is over here. That brings us to amino acid LYS. LYS. Finally, uh, anticodon C, C, C. Well, here's first base C. Here's second base C. That brings us to this box right here. C, C. Third base. Uh, also a C. That brings us to amino acid GLY. And so that's how you solve the, uh, use the uh, genetic uh, code chart to find the corresponding amino acid. Uh, first base is on the left, second base is across the top, third base is down the right. All right, let's go back to the chart then and the problem that we're working on and finish it.